Hi, I'm Zoe Saldano, and this is my hero. Everyone has that one special person in their life they call hero. Hi. The person who influenced who you are. You're welcome. And if you're lucky, you get to say thank you. You are our hero. Which is why my friends and I are showing our gratitude in a very big way. Join me as I honor my hero, someone who has taught me the meaning behind grace and gratitude. I'm Caroline Manzo, and my hero is my sister-in-law, Marie. Marie is my brother Donnie's wife. I have known Marie for, I think, over 40 years. She married my brother, and that's how I know her. <laughs> when I was 27, I had two children, and I found out I was pregnant with my third, Christopher. At the same time, Donnie and Marie had been trying, you know, to have a baby for about eight years, and all of a sudden, a miracle happens, and they get pregnant. She was ecstatic. The months go by, and um, Marie goes for an amnio. And she finds out that there's issues with the baby, defects. And Donnie and Marie decide we're going to have this baby. Marie gives birth three weeks before me to Elizabeth. I'm cry. <laughs> and, um... It's a beautiful little thing with all kinds of issues. And they were so happy and so proud and ready to deal with whatever God gave them. Three weeks later, I give birth to this magnificent, perfect, beautiful little baby boy, my Christopher. For me, it was a lesson that God blesses you in so many different ways. And you have to accept those blessings no matter when they come in your life. Marie taught me probably one of the biggest lessons in my life and she deserves to be celebrated. Oh. Howdy. Howdy. Here. There's no doorbell. He, he knocked. knocked. Oh my goodness. <laughs> What's that? What are you doing? <laughs> What's going on, handsome? I don't know. What is going on? <laughs> I know you think your husband is getting an award. Uh-oh. <laughs> But this is not about Donnie. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> you, what is this? What He's in on it. He's what in on it. it? This, is, this is about you. Me? Yes. Are you kidding me? And this is my little way of saying, you know what? I think you're all right. So oh, I wanted to give you um, something for the kids in your class. And I didn't know what to get. So I just went to the store, and all these backpacks are filled <gasps> with all kinds of supplies. Fun stuff, stuff that you need so you could be the best teacher. Get fun. Um, so this is all for the kids. <gasps> thank Everything. you, thank you for this. Uh, you're probably wondering what this is all about. Yeah, I'm still kind of not sure if this is real. Am I dreaming? Did I die and go to heaven? <laughs> Zoe Saldana has friends of hers recognize their heroes. And I said, my sister-in-law, Marie, is my hero. And you may not know this, but 26 years ago, you taught me an amazing lesson, and one that I live over and over and over every time I see Elizabeth and Christopher together. And that was, I remember you struggling to get pregnant. And here I was, boom, banging them out. <laughs> <laughs> like nothing. And I remember you were so happy that you were pregnant. And I was so miserable that I was pregnant. You know, you found out that Elizabeth had these issues. And never for a moment did any of you say, poor me. Never for a moment did you think of her anything less than a blessing. And that showed me how selfish I was. <laughs> you taught me what grace is. You taught me what courage and unconditional love is. And you never wavered. And the love and attention that you both give Elizabeth is inspiring. At first, it was so overwhelming. It felt like this must be the worst thing happening which later became the best thing in our lives. She changed us and brought so much love in so many ways. I made an album of your lives together. Oh my gosh. Um, you know, with, for you and, you know. This is so unbelievable that you <laughs> did all of this for me. I swear to you, every time I see Elizabeth and Christopher together, 
I'm reminded of that moment. And I want you to know that this lesson 27 years ago stays with me today. And there are decisions that I've made in my life and moments in my life that I've been challenged that, you know, not to sweat the small stuff. And I think of you. I really feel I must be dreaming. I really don't deserve this, but thank you. And I appreciate it. And mostly that Caroline thinks of me in such a way really touches my heart. <gasps> Don and Marie, remember the good times. <gasps> oh my gosh, oh, oh my goodness, <laughs> look at us. That's Christmas. I can't believe how beautiful. Look at everyone together. I still cannot believe that you did this. And I feel overwhelmed with appreciation and joy, mostly, really mostly, to know that you think of me that way. I can't let you get a big head. And I so appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> feel blessed in my heart that I have you for a sister-in-law. We're family. We really are family. You are family. We love each other. <gasps> so what a treasure this is. OK, enough, enough. These are for you. And we have to get going. Where am I going? <laughs> There is a limousine waiting for you outside. Oh my God. To take you and your honey to Lunello's for a lovely dinner. I don't believe, really? <laughs> Good thing oh. you got your party sweater on. You are, give me a kiss. Oh. <laughs> my mom's in on this surprise and she you. just keeps texting me stuff like, everything okay? Where are you? And I'm like, Mom, play it cool. <laughs>